Hey guys, giving up 96 here. Uh, gonna be doing an unboxing today. Bam box. Oh, this is a thinner box, but kind of looks a little bit longer. So it's Bam box. Uh, this one's theme is 90s. So uh, we'll see what's in here. First things first, cut the tape. And we're treated to black paper at the top. Okay, first thing in here, we got our BAM pin, which is a super soaker. That's kind of cool. Um, not much in this box, but uh, we'll go through it. Um, next up in here is a beanie baby. Uh, looks like we got a bear. They used to be rare, right? It's a little tie-dye bear. It's an original Beanie Baby. Stamped and everything. His name's Groovy. It's all tie-dyed. Uh, when did he come out? What's his birthday? Groovy, January 10th, 1999. Cutting it close, Bambox. Cutting it close with this one. We're in Colors of the Rainbow making good friends. Wherever I go, take me with you. Don't let me stay. I need your love all night and day. Hmm. So this uh, Beanie Baby feels really weird like it was washed. But it obviously wasn't because the tag's intact. But uh, not quite sure if you can see that well. So let me pull down this curtain a little bit more. And turn this light on. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> this is my worst video ever. <laughs> okay, uh, but here is the Beanie Baby 1999. Groovy. Uh, going through the rest. Next is this little black box from Boston Creative Company. www.bostoncreativeproducts.com Okay, um, it's a spoon! The spoon and printed on it it says I don't know if you can see that probably not but it says no soup for you referencing um, the soup Nazi off of Seinfeld he's in like two episodes uh, it's cool um, I would rather it be like the Tick Spoon, um, or, I don't know, I wasn't a huge Seinfeld guy. I didn't get the whole idea of a show about nothing, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, it is a cool item, something that I can see keeping, maybe. But, uh, we'll see what's going on with that. Um, okay, next item. Here is obviously going to be our art print, I assume. Bring that in. So this is our art print. Signed art print, I got number 122 out of 2,000. Zach Morris versus AC Slater. The Bayside Brawl. Okay, um, I like this. I did like Saved by the Bell growing up. Um, so you got, uh, 
rivalries will be settled. So a bunch of stuff, it's much like the old boxing posters. Uh, it also plus additional thrilling fights. Um, Kelly Kapowski versus Jesse Spano. And Lisa Turtle versus uh, Scree Screech Powers. So that's kind of cool. Um, nice and big print. Something different compared to how the other prints are. And our last item in the box is a signed hockey puck. Oh, nice. Um, on these now, on the band box cards now, it shows you uh, who it is um, and who they played. So this official sized hockey puck has been hand signed by Matt Doherty, who plays Aver. Okay, it's Averman from the Mighty Ducks movie franchise, and they, they did it during a private signing with the Bam Box. So let's take that out. It is an official, uh, an official sized um, hockey puck from Canada. Actually, it looks beat up, so maybe they bought a bunch of these used from uh, from a company. But uh, it's Matt Doherty, number four, Averman from the Mighty Ducks. Um, it's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. And I like these new BAM cards. Should have done that. Um, but that's it for this BAM box. Um, honestly, overall, I really enjoyed it. Uh, do I think everybody will? Probably not. But I think it's cool. I mean, signed hockey puck. Uh, halfway decent looking print. You got a spoon. Uh, and a Beanie Baby. Groovy. Um, but let's go in here and see. Okay, here were the pins you had an option of getting. You had um, some sneakers, a super soaker, or a Furby. I'm happy with the super soaker. I would have liked the Furby too, though. Uh, the 90s are like a decade and an off switch. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Beanie Babies from the 90s. Commons and rares. I'm going to assume that's a common. Seeing it's from 99. One of the big biggest, if not the biggest, collection booms of the 90s was Beanie Babies, which is true. These little animals were everywhere and they became a craze. We wouldn't be a collector's box if we didn't pay homage to these, I agree. And it wouldn't be right to use anything of the current Beanie Babies. So we tracked down the collectors from all over the country to find actual Beanie Babies with 90s tags on them. Look for some rares to show up in certain boxes valued at $50 or more. Don't see that one being a $50 one. Um, next is the uh, Averman sign puck. Um, the Flying V. It made kids all across this America in a warmer climates want to be hockey players. And Les Averman was one of those reasons. The Mighty Ducks was one of the most iconic movie franchises of the 90s, which I'd agree with. Uh, these official hockey pucks are signed by Matt Doherty, who played Lest Lester Averman in the Mighty Duck movies. You'll either get it signed in uh, gold or uh, silver or gold paint pen. You might remember him also as Heed in So I Married an Axe Murderer. Um, celebrity Fight Match, 11 by 17 posters. Um, these battles we either wanted to see or loved watching. Now you have an exclusive piece of what could have been. There are three different posters. Preppy vs. Dimples, which is the one that I got. Uh, that's the, uh, Bayside Brawl. Um, the one versus the wannabe, which is Agent Smith versus Mr. Anderson, a.k.a. Neo. Um, or the wannabe, uh... And the International Man of Mystery versus the Evil Scientist, which is what I would have wanted the most, which is Dr. Evil versus Austin Powers. Uh, and they're created by Josh Lamont. 
And finally, Bambox says, no soup for you, custom soup spoons. Uh, it became one of the sayings that encapsulated the 90s. No soup for you. Uh, though he only appeared in one episode, the Soup Nazi made a huge splash on the show Seinfeld due to his temperamental insistence of, on a strict manner of behavior while placing an order for soup. Check out this custom spoon donning his famous quote. And next month is Indestructible. Uh, we have no idea what's going to be in here. No hints other than there's going to be a celebrity autograph. So that's cool. Um, that's it for this month's fan box. I really liked it. Uh, don't think a lot of people will. This makes up for the whole box, in my opinion. Uh, this hockey puck. Uh, the Beanie Baby's kind of cool. The poster I got was probably the worst of the three, but I still like it. Uh, uh, the Beanie Baby, I think, is cool. The Spoon, I, I could take it or leave it. But overall, this band box, eh, was it worth $30? To me, yes. To some others, no. That's it. See you guys next month for another band box. Bye.